Hi, my name's Dr. Ross Cutts, and this is my video of replacing an old silver filling with a nice new tooth coloured restoration on a badly broken down back tooth. So we start by putting a rubber dam on, and so we have a little clamp that clamps over the tooth, and then we stretch a rubber sheet on. There are several ways to do this, but this is just the way that I've done for years, that I'm comfortable with. You always have to ensure that the clamp is flossed for health and safety. And then we start by removing the old silver filling. We try and take these out in pieces so as to minimise aerosolisation of the old silver filling. Lots of water and high powered suction being used. Just carry on gradually taking out it in chunks. And sometimes the little rubber dam can tear and get shredded. And just put a little sequin band on just to help shape the tooth. Again, there are different types of bands. This is another example of what I'm comfortable with. I use this sequin band. And then this is something called liquid dam where we can repair the rubber dam to recreate our moisture sealant. And after drying the tooth, we can see we've got a nice clean tooth surface. Then we start by etching the tooth 20 to 30 seconds all over the enamel surfaces. And then we wash it off and we dry it. We get that beautiful frosted appearance. And then we dentine bonding using a dentine bonding agent. We night cure that. And then we can start the incremental build up. And I like to use a flowable composite resin for the base of the cavity. Um, again, do this in incremental layers. So, second layer, then a third layer. This is to help reduce dentine hypersensitivity from bonding. And then with our Venus Pearl composite restoration, we can start rebuilding the tooth to its full contour. Again, you can see I've speeded up the video. So we just start by trying to shape the buccal cusps into an anatomical form. And then we light cure, and then the mesolingual cusp, again incremental layers, curing depth no more than 4 millimeters. otherwise you get what's called a soggy bottom. And then the distolingual cusp, always the most difficult cusp to rebuild because of access the shape of the clamp, shape of the band. We might cure that. And I always take the band off once it's light cured and give it another cure so that we can get through and then fill in any little uh, areas where it's not fully packed with composite resin material. Light cure again. And our tooth is starting to take shape. Now we've got a little diamond uh, polishing burr. We can start shaping the tooth. So I like to overbuild and then recontour using a handpiece. Uh, some clinicians will, will like to make sure they try and get the final shape with just a normal resin. Um, and then of course we take the band off and we can start checking the, the occlusal form and make any adjustments as necessary. So you can see here I've, I've over contoured, over built the distal aspect of the tooth. And there are again many ways that we can use, many little techniques that we can use to, to copy the anatomical form of teeth from what they were previously. But in this case, I've just freehanded it because I wanted to, to recreate 
new anatomical form, or rather to create a new anatomical form. And so lots of little adjustments until we get to the final, final shape that we're happy with. And then sometimes I just like to add a bit more uh, detail to the occlusal surface, to the chewing surface, just to make it a bit more tooth-like. And hey presto, there's our teeth.